My main goal when I tackle a presentation is to deliver optimal value to the audience. I want them to feel like they walked away with knowledge and understanding that was worth their time and the money they invested to come to the event or to attend the event. I'm on a conference call with a client last week. We're talking about uh, the, a redesign of their website and incorporating the social media things that I'm coming up with into their new website. And in the middle of the conversation, he says verbatim, the end game for me is, did we sell more stuff? It's not how many followers we have on Twitter. It's not how many friends we have on Facebook. It's not even how many emails we have in an, an email list, although that's very important to getting to selling more stuff. It's not how many people comment on our blogs. The end game is, did we sell more stuff? But Jason, what about the hippies? <laughs> well, they're wrong, or at least they're half wrong, okay? I still think, um, and I th it's best practice in social media to understand that your intention is being watched by your audience. If you are trying to sell more stuff and you are intentional about selling more stuff, and you are disingenuous to what the community wants and needs, you're not listening to them, you're just advertising and or spamming, you're not going to be successful in social media marketing. You can't just throw out blog post after blog post after blog post that talks about the new product uh, you have and how here's a sale and here's a coupon. That's going to work to a certain audience and I think there is an audience out there for it, but if you really want an enriching, engaging experience in social media, you still have to identify with those sort of social media purist principles. But you have to be focused uh, on the bottom line a little bit. People like the fact that I'm engaging, I have a sense of humor, um, and I make it entertaining to sit through one of my talks. It's not something that you think of having to sit through, it's actually uh, fun for you to participate in. And the social media purists went ape nuts. Oh, you can't sell things on Twitter! $6.5 million later, they're selling things on Twitter. So, go hug a tree, thanks. I have a tendency to uh, speak my mind and I, I don't necessarily censor that uh, on stage and I think that delivers even more entertainment value probably than substance but I think it also delivers um, sort of a brutal honesty to people and they, they get a sense that I not only know what I'm talking about but I'm not afraid to say what I think. Social media is about business and business is based on one thing, how much stuff did I sell? How many more people did we convert? Okay? It's based on a bottom line metric. And if as a social media marketer you're not thinking about the bottom line, then I've got news for you. I'm going to predict what you're going to be doing in 2010. <laughs> this is what you're going to be doing in 2010 if you're not thinking about social media as a business and thinking about the bottom line. You're going to be looking for a job. Okay? To be successful in social media, you have to be consumer centric, not product centric. Um, you have to have a genuine, honest interest in the people who are consuming your product or service. And social media puts average, everyday human beings back in the center of the marketing equation, and I think that's an important thing to pursue. Your customers and fans know that in order to continue to provide the value that you are providing through your social media efforts, and if you're providing value like the purists say you should, and I agree you should, you're giving them great insights and opinions and whatnot on your blog, you're sharing interesting links with them on Twitter, so on and so forth, whatever your value proposition is that you're giving them through social media to engage and be a part of that conversation and all those good social media puritanical things that are going on there, they understand that in order to continue to do that, you got to sell stuff, that you got to move the needle, that you have to make money. And they understand that from time to time you're going to say, hey, we're running a special on somethings today. Here's a link if you want to go buy it. They're okay with that. The rest of the world is not going to reject the fact that you need to make money. Social media purists will, but remember, most of them aren't going to have a job and it won't matter this year. So.